What is going on guys? It's Sook and I am back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. And of course, in today's video, I will be bringing you my benchmark test of the 2016 15 inch MacBook Pro with touch bar. I will be uploading a very similar video with regards to the 13 inch MacBook Pro with touch bar. So if you are not subscribed, then go ahead and do that. But without any further ado, let's hit the tiles. Now, just like I've done with previous benchmark tests, I've compiled a table with all of the results. And the first test that I did conduct was a 64-bit Geekbench 4 test, which as you can see, gave me a single core score of 3,968 and a multi-core score of 12,386. While the 32-bit test gave me a single core reading of 3,371 and a multi-core of 11,000, 130. The next benchmarking application that I did run was GFX Bench Metal, which is a benchmarking application which is used to test the graphical performance using a number of different tests. Instead of showing you guys the individual scores for each of the tests, I've created an average of all of these tests together to give you the scores for the higher level and lower level tasks. And as you see with the higher graphical intensive tasks, we got an FPS readout of around 107 FPS. Whereas with the lower intensive tasks, we got a slightly higher readout of around 126 FPS. The next benchmark application that I did run was once again from GFX Bench, this time testing the OpenGL performance. Once again, like the previous application, you do get a score for the higher and lower level graphical intensive tasks. You do also get a FPS readout for tasks conducted on screen and off screen. The next test that I did conduct was to see how fast the SSD is in the new MacBook Pro. As you see, the read speeds that I was getting was approximately 2116 megabytes per second. And taking a look at the write speeds, I was getting approximately 1400 megabytes per second. The next test that I did conduct was a NovaBench benchmark test, which gives a score depending on aspects of the system, such as the CPU, the GPU, and even the RAM. The next benchmark application that I did run was Cinebench R15, which gave an OpenGL score of around 70 FPS, as well as a CPU score of 636 CB. And finally, the last test that I did conduct was a simple 4K export on Final Cut Pro. So guys, that has been it for today's video. I do hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, then make sure you hit that like button. And if you are new around here, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can click the video playing on screen to go and check out my last video. And if you have got any questions or queries, leave them down below in the comment section or hit me up on my social media. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.